What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about why Windows updates suck, especially modern updates. Now, I don't know if you've been cursed with this. Most likely you have. But Windows updates not only take forever, but sometimes like to cause issues. And in Windows 10 specifically, I, for example, have to reboot a lot of computers together to do some various tasks. And if it's pending an update, well, guess what? In Windows 10, you cannot just restart a computer anymore without updating it. You have to basically update and restart. Now, while on principle, it is fantastic that you have to do this because it forces you to update in the way that it's working, especially if you have an update server on. Um, but when you're working and trying to get things done, it doesn't really do that well to have to sit, twiddle your fingers, wait for the please waiting bar, go through the nine, go through the 10, and so forth, percent as you are waiting for this to start. Would be nice if Windows 10 brought the ability to just restart without updates back, just saying. That's one reason why Windows updates suck specifically for Windows 10, and you can't change it, and you're also kind of stuck with the home editions and the versions of those you can't really choose what updates you want. You have to go through the whole update process and it's a it's a ton of fun. The second reason why it sucks, especially for everything, is that the opportunity of failure is just there. And for those of you who do not like this video, please understand that you probably will run into something at one point or another with Windows 10 or Windows 7 or whatever with an update screwing something up if you deal with a lot of PCs. So, for example, it could crash your computer depending on a driver update. It could crash your webcam. It could slow your computer down. Now, for example, when it crashes your computer, a lot of it's due to driver issues based on what the manufacturer has done. And Microsoft could have made a change that basically makes your computer um, shit the bed with an update. However, Microsoft needs to be talking to these uh, hardware manufacturers a little bit more to have a deeper understanding of how they use their drivers. Or they just don't care. Most likely that is is true. I remember several updates crashing a computer and Microsoft having to pull out of the updates. I'm looking at you, creators, update. Anyways, so that's, that's a pain in the butt when, when it can't be controlled. Um, it breaks things sometimes. So for example, um, I had my wireless adapter, which worked fine, and when I ran the creator's update, it crashed my driver. It just crashed. I would get Wi-Fi partially, sometimes it would come in, sometimes it wouldn't. I uninstalled and reinstalled, didn't fix it, uninstalled and reinstalled, didn't fix it, uninstalled and reinstalled, restarted, and I did restart prior, and guess what? It fixed it. The definition of insanity is when you have to do things over and over and expect a different result. But I guess in the Windows world you have to do this. Please understand, I really do like computers a lot, and this is just more of a rant video that we all have to deal with with updates. So. Let's, let's talk about something. I like Windows computers a lot, but I also like um, Mac computers too, which for some people is, is shocking. But as far as the Mac OS is concerned, I like the way it deals with updates. It packages everything, and sometimes even does a combined update. Those are my favorite ones when it just says combined, because I've really rarely had any issues with hitting that update button and having everything just work smoothly. I've heard different otherwise, so I will put that disclaimer out, but personally, with my experience with Apple computers, is that when you hit update, it updates, and it doesn't take nearly as long, and the reason why it takes partially a little bit long is because everything is not packaged with Windows. They've fixed a little bit of that, but there's still things that are staggering. They need to package this stuff together, and they used to, and it was called a service pack. And guess what? They don't do that anymore, but they do release these fall creators updates that break things. <laughs> so it's just a pain in the butt. And speaking of pain in the butt, it 
is not as easily managed. You can't listen. If you are somebody who are who is dealing with Windows update servers, and you are somebody who works in IT and has the wonderful pleasure of dealing with Windows update servers, well, let me tell you something. A, it's a pain in the ass to configure. It really is. And don't tell me otherwise, because it really is a pain in the ass. I got it working, but it is a pain. Second is that, basically, you have to select from a repository of thousands of updates. Okay, tell me something, people who are configuring Windows update servers. Please put it in the comments below. How you manage this in terms of knowing which update is good for each machine. You do not know which update. You certainly can filter the update saying, okay, obviously I don't have any Windows XP machines in the building, so that can be you know ignored. I don't have any Windows 7 machines. I don't have any Windows 8. It's only 10. And then we're all hunky-dory. But tell me something, how are you going to have the time to really look through every single update that Microsoft sends by and deny or reject? The only advantage of this Windows update server is if you, God forbid, know an update is causing an issue, but most likely it already has caused the issue. So that that's kind of one, one area where that, that can be a problem. So anyways, I just can't can't figure out why it has to suck this much and the answer is probably self self answering where we're basically we can't really do that much with Windows updates because there is so much manufacturing in so much things that that Windows does that it's hard to manage everything together. But Windows could be packaging things a little bit better than it does. Now it has gotten better, like I, the, some of the security updates have been packaged, which is appreciated, but again, you could still think, find things staggering. But as I linger on here and go a little bit off topic, I have to say that Windows updates need to be more packaged, need to have the option to skip them which I don't understand why they made change other than, you know, because people don't like updates. People really don't like updates. Ask some server admins also. Ask them. Just just check. Just check on them and see how many times have they updated their systems. And are they always on the latest updates? And to be honest with you, I bet you half the time people aren't on all of the latest updates even for server operating systems because they are such a pain in the ass. Because imagine everything that I just talked about being applied to a server operating system that runs an entire company. You have downtime, you have potential of failure, you have it takes forever, and you have a lot of things that people do not want to rate, w wait around for. So this was my little rant on Windows updates. I hope you guys, at least if you're in the position or do any type of computer work, let me know what your thoughts are on this video. If I've covered things that I'm a little too biased for, or if I'm telling someone of the truth, just please let me know. Anyways, thank you very much for watching this long video on why I'm not a fan of Windows updates.